Hi guys, Seraph here, and uh, just a little update and a bit of a preview on the next events coming up in a few days. So August is not, well this August has been a weird August, we've had like probably five, I think we're going to have five uh, Fridays. Uh, let me just check here, check the calendar, yep. Friday is gonna have uh, that means we can have more than two events and uh, we just well I just saw yesterday the preview of the next events coming up and it's a uh, quite interesting actually thing is we're gonna get you know some chests that will give us clothing now I know I know we do have events to give us clothing like the current event we get clothing and amount uh, we did get um, compensation for the last few errors that Warzone has had. And there's a lot of them. Uh, but, yeah. Every event gives clothing. It, that's that's true. It gives clothing, wings, and everything. Uh, but this upcoming event is going to be a special event. It's an event that gives you old clothing. So basically, we're going to get um, Halloween sets. Uh, the Evil Dragon set, and I believe the Thanksgiving set, as well as a new mount. Now, I do want to talk about the new mounts, because we did recently get a few new mounts. Uh, many of these are pretty uh, pretty weird, in a sense. Uh, most of the, two of these are going to be mechanical, and we're actually going to get a hippo. That's right, guys. No more piggy, no more hamster, a hippo. And... If I do say so myself, it can be considered quite adorable. I do know a few people in my guild who will try and take it from me. Although they can't, but they will try and take it. They do want it. And it is kind of adorable, It's but it's kind of weird at the same time. Anyways, uh, the first steed that we're going to show you guys is the mechanical steed card. This is available through events. Now, this is th available through special events. Cold Tower of Kings. That's right, guys. No more... Waiting to get the Netherwing Dragon, you guys can just go in and get. Whoa, we went a bit too far. Kind of mixed together, huh? Anyways, uh, yeah. So no more waiting to get a hundred, eight hundred total. You can just get a hundred twenty and get yourself a mechanical steed. It has better attributes. Only problem about this steed is uh seven days only. So you guys who have more Shadow Souls, you know, saved up. You guys can get this. Uh, I do believe you can recycle it as well to get, uh, I believe, some uh, steed souls. I believe that's what it's called. I will check later. It's, I do have about uh, two of them in my vault, so I will check on it later and show you guys the name. So, uh, so yeah, this is the first steed that we get. Uh, we just recently saw it in Battleground uh, and a few other places. So most people didn't know about the addition of this one. Of course, a few people who do check, uh, you know, other websites that have information on War Tune or information on any upcoming events, they do know about this and they do know beforehand. Now I did learn of this about two days ago, but you know I, I was working and wasn't able to pretty much make any video or even uh, release it. How, however. I will point out these are the other three mounts that are going to be released. The Plump Hippo, this is the one I was talking about. This is a plus 20 card. Now, thing is about these is the Plump Hippo and the Manticore may be next month's rewards. But it's going to be a bit difficult for to really identify them as rewards. We do have the Dark Knight Panther. Now, we got... Um, yeah. Whoa, I'm starting. Anyways, uh, I will remind you guys... Next month is September, and we do have the Hall of Fame coming up. Now, Hall of Fame will give us the Dark Knight Panther. It will give us this. So here is the problem. It may also now give us either the Plum Hippo or the Manticore. Although both of these are you know, lower tier, lower tier mounts compared to other mounts, such as the Majestic Stingray. Well, it's also 30. But, you know, other mounts that are like, you know, plus 40. And so on. Manticore may be from a difference. Probably from a different event that's going to be added pretty soon. 
It's probably gonna be called the Underground, Underground Adventure. Uh, I have seen a few videos from the Chinese servers, and I'm not too sure if the Underground would be a daily event, much like uh, the fishing and the treasure hunts, the gem treasure hunts. For example, these right here. Uh, the jewel hunts, fishing and jewel hunts. It may be the same thing. As we, there is a video out there about uh, another event that's like it. However, uh, I highly doubt it's going to be that because that event is going to introduce Advanced Sepulchrum, which is uh, only for Advanced Souls, which would be not the current refinable souls that we have that's Hercules, Aegis, uh, Athena, and so forth, but rather the newer, more, uh, let's call it the second evolution souls, which are presented as Zeus, Poseidon. Hera and what people call Ares and I'm gonna, what I'm going to call Titania which would be the Winslow. I have not shown it to you guys just yet. I would show it to you guys. I uh, might make a video after this showing the images to you guys. But these souls are going to be available in about uh, I believe next year probably or by December. As most of these updates are, you know, coming pretty fast, and most people are, you know, they believe that they're gonna try to make us compete with the Chinese servers, which is highly doubtful. For one, our highest, our really highest battle battle rating uh, players are not even able to catch up to the Chinese server guys. I did see the highest Chinese server player, and his battle rating is crazy. Thing is, he could still increase it even more. So I'm just going to point that out. Our guys are nothing compared to the top ranked Chinese guys. So the top ranked Chinese players, they're worlds ahead of us and we will not be able to compete with them. However, uh, back to the mounts and to the next event which is going to be coming next week. The Mech Rhino is going to be released next week along with the event. Now, here's the problem with this mount. It's a plus 80 mount, and it is a 7-day mount as well. Problem is, we do not know what kind of event is going to be released. Is it going to be in a hot event, or, you know, a daily event? Now, mostly 7-day mounts are usually released as, well, as daily events. Now, Hall of Fame will start on September, so Mech Rhino cannot be the Hall of Fame mount, the new Hall of Fame mount, which I believe they should add one. As we did have Dark Knight Panther before, and we will be able to get it. Now, uh, we all know Dark Knight Panther started off as uh, pretty high, higher than uh, plus 10. It was, yeah, it was higher plus 10, I believe, a uh, plus 30 mount. They did nerf it down, back down to uh, plus 10. It gives a, uh, well, plus 50 mount strength. Now, if you see all these other mounts, these are plus 30s, plus 30 mount strengths, and they do have higher attributes. So, that, here's the thing, these, they're going to be adding more mounts, and probably new events coming with them. Mech Rhino may be added to either Tower of Kings, or the Wilds, or even the Amethyst. It would make sense adding it to either the Wilds or the Amethyst, as it would make it more of a thing to get as a 7 day mount. Now most most of these events are gonna get seven days amounts. That's what I believe. We do have the demonic civet for jewel hunt, and that's if you do about if you get the first chest, it's gonna take you know seventy days. Get the two chests, it's gonna get you to uh, thirty five days just to get that mount, and so on. That's uh, basic math. But we just got wilds, and not many people have them in the sixteen way. Not even the higher ranking players. So, uh, Mech Rhino will not be added into the world, so that's my personal belief. However, we ha did have Amethyst Mine way longer than any kind of world event. So, um, that's what I personally believe is going to be added onto the Amethyst Mines. It would make it better, it would make it also, you know, it would make it more of, more reasonable to add it onto that. 
However, we that's the only new mounts that we will have. Uh, Motion Dragon was released this week, this and last week. Casanova was actually a part mount, which we did see that once before with the Racer Dragon. Racer Dragon was a part, uh, I believe a part mount. Not only in uh, in the computer version or but also into the mobile version if you guys don't know there is a mobile version of Wartoon it is runs on different servers it does not connect to the current version that we're on or that I am on so if you guys want to play on the go you can you know play the mobile just uh, keep in mind it will you need to use the internet so if you guys have uh, about you know 3G uh, 3G network or uh, 4G LTE Keep that in mind, it does use a lot of it, and you may waste all of it in a week. I've done it before, I've wasted most of it in a week before I, I before you know, it could roll over and renew my 3G. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna see these three mounts pretty soon. Uh, Mech is gonna be the first one we're gonna see, we're gonna see it next week. Uh, whether it's gonna be in a daily event or probably gonna be added as something special. Mm, but you know what? It might it might make more sense that it's gonna be added to Class Wars, as it is a plus eighty mount, and the last Class Wars mount would be the Dark Unicorn, which I do believe is a hundred. Not a plus twenty mount. This is also a uh, plus. You know, they they did nerf I believe. Uh, well, if you guys do remember it, and uh, you can put it down in the comments if you did nerf it or the previous stats because I think they did nerf it so you actually might see the mech rhino as the new class wars mount and now you know most old players won't be able to get it uh manticore and the plump hippo they may be added next month as you know uh weekly events we do have two events per month so it would make sense to add them now and not or not be deal with too many lag or bugs during the new events, which they could have fixed about two weeks ago if they fixed the total amount of bugs that the test servers had. Uh, we still have we still have bugs. We still have the arenas pretty much messed up. I just went and joined the arena like a few times. It is messed up. We faced a lot of level seventies. And a few level 80s, which we are not supposed to be able to do that. Whoop, sorry, my friend, I already did that. Uh, anyways, that's it for these mounts. Uh, also, one more thing we will have God's Descent coming up tomorrow or today at midnight if you're in US West. Uh, if you're in US East, like I am, it's gonna be you know 3 in the morning. Yes, I know it's pretty messed up my timing I got confused with East and West during the time that I started playing so I ended up playing in the US West servers instead of the US East now yeah I'm really sorry but I gotta do this anyways uh, I will try and get some gameplay of this but I really doubt it uh, one thing that to note is that the rewards on these are but well, they're not the greatest rewards we could always get better rewards. But I do plan on actually getting past level 5, which is where I always get stuck at. Especially in God's Descent and Sky Trail. So I will see if I can get past that. It would be great for me. As I would be able to complete uh, my Fire Self Refinement requirements. As I do have 7 Star uh, seven star tiers and about 900 stars of star sand as you can see I do have 72 star tier shards I got seven star tiers fire and so around 142 star sand so getting that would help getting past the you know got to set level 5 would put me in 990 so I would just have to get you know get 10 more and I would be ready to pretty much refine it 10 more of that and a bit more right here but that's um, so that will be about next month probably 
Now, here we go. I believe you do get mount spirits once you refine your mount cards. But don't quote me on that. You know, you can just check it out. Just place the card in recycling and it will show it to you. You don't have to recycle it if you don't want to. So that, that is what I was told. And if you guys want to do it, you guys can go and do it. Now, I'm going to show you the total amount that you need. And I'm going to tell you guys how to get this amount. It's pretty easy. It's going to take you less than uh, two weeks to get the amount. And you now you can get it pretty fast. So it's going to be a total of 125. Now, this, this amount will depend on whether you're doing easy, hard, well, easy, normal, hard, or nightmare in Tower of Kings. Now, as we all know, uh, Tower of Kings does give you give you mounts. Uh, I believe it's called Shadow Souls. It does give you Shadow Souls just for participating in it. Uh, you do not you do not have to pass any level. You just have to you know join it and participate in it. For example, I did it today. I did. I do have normal unlocked. So hold on, let me just block these so no one enters. Now I do have normal unlocked. So I'm just gonna show you guys. Easy gives you a total of ten shadow souls per attempt. Normal gives you, I believe, twelve. Hard gives you fourteen, and I believe nightmare gives you sixteen. <coughs> well. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys are doing uh, normal, you could do it in about 11 days, which is less than 2 weeks. If you're doing it hard, it probably 9, between 9 and 10. Nightmare will be about 1 week, 1 week to 8 days, and so on. So, that's going to be like the easiest amount to probably get, that's a 7 day amount. Of course, if you do already have it all, you do already have everything maxed out, you know, max stacks of uh, Shadow Souls, you could get as many as you want, recycle it, and get your, you know, Mount Spirit mounts or cards. But, you know, it's going to be easier. Easier to get those kind of uh, mounts. Uh, I would suggest you just getting the mounts. You know, night shades of permanent mounts. Try and get all the permanent mounts before the start of next month. So, you know, you guys could get Hall of Fame. Uh, Hall of Fame basically is for high battle rating tunes. So, if you have a high battle rating tune, you will be in Hall of Fame. I do believe it did increase this year. As most um, characters do have a pretty high battle rating. So, you know, getting into the Hall of Fame is going to is gonna be difficult. You will have competition, and but there will be some pretty good rewards. You will get a few mounts. So, uh, some of them are going to be permanent, like the Dark Knight Panther. That's permanent. You know, you can keep it for as long as you want. And you cannot get rid of it, unfortunately. But, you know, it's better to keep it, uh, refine it, and get more stats out of it. If you're level 80, you will recommend, we'll tell you guys again. New patches mostly for level 80. So before you guys get started on, oh, let's do a Hall of Fame. Uh, you guys are going to be need to be level 80 just to get, uh, you know, a high enough battle rating to be one of the top 10s in Hall of Fame. Now, it's better to get as, you know, as high battle rating as you guys can. So, it's pretty easy to do if you have the time to do it. For example, I always keep, in most of my videos, I do re keep repeating myself. Try and hoard as many items as you can. Especially if they are mount training whips, soul crystals, and gems. As these events are reoccurring and they usually happen between events. As one event, uh, as we get one hot event, we will get a soul crystal event or we will get a mount whip, mount training whip event. Now I did do the mount training whip and during that time I did have only a hundred soul crystals left and with my daily 
when it did start, I did get like 21 more soul crystals. After that, you know, I traded my whips and I got a grand total of, let's say, uh, 5,700 total. Oh, I also did get it this much gems, which I do have to, uh, you know, convert to my magic defense, which I do have later confirm uh, convert all of that into health gems which I do need now that I did become uh, get my few legendary sets or uh, pieces of a set so it's better to hoard those items and you know keep them handy because you will need them uh, I did also remember one event that is also reoccurring it's not depending on any other event it's the crystal it's the crystals event this event is pretty it's pretty simple now it involves pattern protection and it also involves will crystal shards so better protection we all know it's good for uh, sky trolls with forgot the sense the higher it is the better it is so it is better to get these maxed out but you know you can wait once you get that event coming up which it will come up I think it's uh, between every three events you know every soul crit once every soul crystal event web training event and gem event passes a crystal shard event comes comes along and it gives you pretty good rewards it will give you I think last time we did get some will crystal shards I don't know if it's gonna we're gonna get that again or we're just gonna get some uh, more crystal shards. Now the rewards are for I believe level three, level four, level five, and I also believe level six. So as long as you make any single one of these gems, that's a level three, you will get rewarded. Same thing with a level, you know, every single other level above from that, and that's that's the best way to get more rewards, as well as getting more. You know, getting your battle rating up. As you can see, uh, my uh, soul engraving is a level 32. It's pretty low. But if I were to add all the soul crystals added to it right now, my battle rating would increase. I probably would break the um, 80k. Although I am potted right now, so that's why I am over 80k. But if I were to use my soul crystals and engrave them, I would break 80k with. You know, just my uh, tech, my blessing wheel uh, bonuses. So it is better just to use that and, you know, hold on to it until that event comes in. So you can just, you know, increase your battery rating. It's, it does take time, but it's better to do it this way. As you can get as many rewards as you want. Now, uh, last time I did talk to you guys about the XP. XP again is... They did not fix it. They did do a few maintenances, but they did not fix the total XP for uh, talents. So most of us are pretty much screwed, and will have to you know level up to level seventy. Uh, I only have two legendary pieces right now out of the whole set, and I'm close to getting my armor, and I'm also close to getting my second jewel. However. I am also close to leveling up, which means I'm going to need level 70 sets pretty soon. And that's mainly the reason why I stopped doing quests or the regular campaign quests. Uh, what's this? Not oh, great. Uh, anyways, uh, apart from that, what else? Right, events. Now, like I did say, Wartoon.tv. I did mention it in one of my other videos. It is a good site to get information, and you know, I'm just advertising their site just because I want to. It's a good place to get information on many things. Just uh, don't cheat. Just don't cheat on the game. If you get caught, you will lose everything. And if you did spend money on it, you will lose all that. Now, we're going to move on to the chests. Now, this is the old fashioned. This is going to be. Although it says part 2, it should be part 3 as we did have 2 other events beforehand. Uh, these chests will only be from the 26th all the way to the 31st, which is we only have 5 days. 
So these events will be well these chests will have the exotic chest, the hollow chest, the evil chest, and the Thanksgiving chest. As I see I did uh miss one one chest and that's the you know the set the exotic clothing set which is pretty much regular regular looking clothing it has you know it's a I believe it's a A Unlike the hollow chest, which is a B, evil chest, which is an A, uh, Thanksgiving chest, which is, I believe, a B. Of course, uh, all these sets are available in the in your clothing. You can, see, you can see it right there. If you want it, you can participate in this event. Uh, I personally do prefer getting the fashion course. Uh, good luck charms. Those are going to be useful in the future. Gold, I need it for uh, synthesizing and converting all my gems. Fashion shards. To be honest, we're all gonna get fashion shards, so better save that up. And old leather. Old leather, you're gonna have to collect about 20 for the first three chests, which will be the exotic, hollow, and evil. And 12 for the Thanksgiving chest, which would mean Thanksgiving uh, costumes would be lower, a uh, lower grade, or have you know less. They do have less, it's only the plumed helm and Thanksgiving armor, no weapon, uh, no wings. It's good to note that all of these will not have wings. It's just going to be just the clothing, no wings added. Uh, Mech Rhinos right here as you can see. It is a 7 day mount. So, you know, try and get the, the most of this event. And if it's a one time only event, try and get as many mech rhinos you can, you know, save them up and use them for class wars or a uh, hall of fame or anything that you do or deem it necessary to use it for. But I highly doubt it that's going to be about one time thing, it might be a more, you know, it might be, you know, more of a, how do I say, it's more of a collectible. So you will need to collect that just to, get, to collect items to get the amount. Uh, we will have a rune exchange which is not new. But uh, one thing about it is you're going to have to collect as many runes as possible. I suggest you start now. As it will start tomorrow. So start now. It's the 22nd right now at my time. Uh, if you're watching this on the 23rd, you know keep collecting the runes my suggestion is you know use these runes use them don't hoard runes you do not want to really hoard them you will want to invest runes mostly into any kind of healing rune or uh, any kind of rune that will block any kind of damage simple we're gonna go to runes I do have three runes although I do not use the blood rune at all I mostly run uh, brutality and healing but if you know if you're a knight, you better get the purge or uh, purification runes. These are these runes are highly beneficial. And uh, purge rune with a Hades that has haunt will be better because you know you could use purge when uh, when um, Hades isn't available or use Hades when purge isn't available. But my suggestion would be to use the runes. You should get these. As high as possible, you know, get them to level 10 or at least level 8 before you can start holding wounds. Now, the reason I do say this is because you will need healing. Healing is very beneficial, it is bad, it's like one of the best wounds to have, especially for a knight. Uh, mages and uh, archers, you guys would get, should get the. Uh, let me check, where is that? There is a rune that you guys can use. Um, it's almost like, I uh, believe, Apollo Shield. Although I can't seem to find it. Yeah. Would be. Yeah, the Maya rune. This would be the, with the one that I'm talking about. It does. No, it's not it. Uh, but the my room is one of the most wanted rooms out there. It is 
one of the best rooms to have for any other class well mostly for any class uh, but the one that I'm talking about would be like a protection room it does work like um, like a polar shield it does block damage uh, so you guys may want to use it if you are an archer or a mage that rune is highly beneficial for you guys you guys would be able to you know block much of much damage uh, the most used rune currently is chaos rune most people use it in class wars so it is a useful rune and if you do have it I do suggest you use it it will just make people attack their own teammates so if you could get more damage on the teammates or on the troops it would be better and it will also help you win the win the match now uh, back to this we do have all these as you can see uh, the guardian runestone is right here this is, would be the guardian runestone uh, you might get that from I believe the knight rune pack or one of the others uh, ancient rune pack may be the guardian and may also be the mire rune as each are separated so you know you guys may be able to get that uh the next thing that i'm going to be talking about is something that i personally find kind of useless right now it's an event that r2 games should never have even uh shown especially now since the release of the patch 3.1 especially how buggy it is no one would want to come back to the game even if you get rewards you will not no one will really want to come back to the game knowing that it has too many bugs or too many personal errors that are going on you would not want to be able to you will not be able to play the game as you could before no matter what what has been added people do not really want to play a buggy game as watching this right now a few things have been fixed so you guys will understand once you play a few things have been fixed it's not as like as it was before uh arena is still pretty much pretty much useless I will not suggest going to the arena right now especially if you're low level if you're high level expect a challenge that's what all I'm gonna say to you guys about arena uh, this event is called the honorable return it's happened before uh, it will happen again and again as long as you get about if you go missing go a war for like 20 months not 20 days uh, but two months or three months or even more if you don't play the game for that time and come back you will get rewards it is a weird way to reward people but it does exist uh, I would suggest one thing um, if you stop playing there's a reason why you stop playing and right now it's not the best time to return there is rewards if you guys don't play Warton at the moment but you know used to play it there are rewards however uh this is only to bring back players it's you know a way to make money uh personally i see it as a useless event it should not it should not exist as a hot event it should not even be available as a hot event it should be something that is implemented since the beginning of the game as once you leave you know you got some more important stuff to do. We all have uh, real life events going on. Most of us, you know, gotta work. Others of us needs, uh, you know, we all need a vacation or we have school or we have things to do that are a bit more important than playing the game. But this honorable return should be something that has been implemented in the game since the beginning and not added, you know, in a few months or uh, certain months. It should be available since the beginning of the game. If you guys leave and come back, you should get rewards for that. Because, you know, you're coming back to play a game. And, you know, get the money. It's the same way. As most games do. You know, if you're playing in a game in a website. There is, you know, ad advertisement. The same thing that goes on in YouTube. Now, we all know about YouTube. How people make money through ads. Uh, same thing with websites. You know, you're running a website. That's how you make money. Uh, the amount, the number of people that visit your website 
is the total amount of ads seen. That's how you make money. If say if you have like four ads running in your in one page of your website and you know you get five people to visit it in a day, that's a grand total of twenty ads seen in a day. Uh, if they stay and continue visiting uh, for a continuous amount of time, the ads will be seen more times, and the total amount of money that you will get paid by those ads or by any kind of program that is running those ads or corporation, if you want to say it, you will get paid through that. That's how websites usually make money. Uh, you can see this with any kind of website, and it is available if you want to start your own web your own website. But I will point out, don't start it just because you want the money. Just uh, does not work that way. You will not make money that way. Uh, you no, know, you're gonna do a website, do something that's about interesting, or you, you could do what these guys are doing, uh, working website with inf information. But you know, first uh, learn how to make a website. There are a few places where you can do it. Uh, holding domains is also a good way to make money, but I shouldn't be talking about that. As this is mostly about war tune and I just went off track. Anyways, uh, back to honorable return. I did say it's not a good event to use, especially now. It's a bad move by R2. Personally, to ask what I think it's a really bad move by R2. Uh, they should pretty much focus on fixing the events and fixing whatever's going on with war tune or the bugs. But they're actually focusing on running this event and other events now it is hard to program a game I do understand that but you that's why we have test servers uh, if something is wrong with the test server it needs to be fixed and that's what they did not do and they still gave us the event in order to catch up with the Chinese servers however like I did say this event is personally from my point of view a pretty useless event it does not really benefit people because if you left the game, you left the game for a good reason, and this will not even pull you back. It will not even let you. It will, they will not even advertise this as they should. <sighs> but I will point one thing out: they are making us pay balance. That's right, guys. We are gonna have to pay balance to open up these chests. Which is again, like I did say, it is the most stupidest idea you want to do when you have a buggy game. Most people will do this, will pay balance for these chests if they do return. These, are, of course, are honorable return quests and chest rewards. As I've read this, I did not see anything that involves any kind of veteran player or uh, players to continue playing like me or like any other you know person who's still playing the game apart from the bugs so uh yeah it is one of the worst moves the R2 could do at this moment in time and they should have hold on to it to that event probably until September which is Hall of Fame most people well not most people will come back there are a few who might or who play like once a month they could do that, it wouldn't be easier, but you know, this is not the best way to handle a game. Uh, anyways, back onto the events old time events. We will get Warriors Call, which is solo arena, 10 times. That is pretty easy, just lose, you know, you just lose five times, challenge five people who, that you know you're gonna lose against, and once you low ranked, challenge five people who you can, you know, that you know. You're gonna win against, and you'll be back on the same rank that you were before. It's it's not proactive as proactive as challenging other people, but when you have a low battle rating or low stats, it is the best way to do this. As you will not lose, you will not lose rewards. Quite the contra contrary, you will gain a few more rewards. Blessing will uh, we all do this? The blessing rule we can spin as many times as you want until we get to 100%. Uh, so we do not have to worry about this. Uh, Tower of Kings, like always, it's a daily quest or daily event. I do suggest you guys doing it if you want the mechanical mount or even if you want the, uh, the middle one dragon. 
bounty quest uh again we do have this thing with talents so not many people will be too interested in this it does not give you any kind of reward all it does it just increase your total amount of bounties that you could do by 10 and double tea party again talents people want talents not xp so not uh, not something that we guys that many of us would want recharge bonus I do not see no uh, bug fixing or anything like that so I'm not probably not gonna spend any kind of money at this moment in time probably next month I would uh, only because I pretty much think the magical card looks pretty pretty awesome it's and it's you know it's that's on uh, it's attributes aren't too bad so I would want that uh, now I'm sorry for talking too low guys uh I have been getting sick as most people have during this time of the year but anyways guys uh, we'll continue talking about this uh, recharge points like I did say not many people will want to spend money you will get fashion course and an old fashion pack just for getting you know 500 bands or more it can be redeemed only once uh, clothing identification it's unless you identify all your clothing all you could do is use uh, well, you know, use fashion course, which when plays the reason why people want to recharge. Uh, but you know, you guys can do this if you do get the uh, any single one of the clothings, especially the Thanksgiving clothing. You could identify that for a low cost and complete this pretty much this quest. It will not. It will give you a few other things. You know, fashion shards or fashion pack, dark or gold. Uh. The only thing I can see here that's pretty much highly value is the fashion charts and the Daru gold. You can just get that amount from what well, boss you get about 10 times that. And we're only going to get like what 5,000? 500 total of uh, 500,000 gold. And I think I prefer what boss I can make that much in a day. Uh, Alchemy again. I see no point in recharging currently. Same thing with Daru. Uh, not the best way. Well, not the best way to do things. Uh, Alchemy and Daru, it's an increase of amounts. You could buy one and it will increase by five. Buy the next, it will increase by ten. Uh, where I see it, once we reach 19, that's a huge amount of balance, a huge amount of cash. I will not, you know, will not want to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, anyways, back to the top. Uh, what I will point out is most people will not get the clothing chest. They will not get that. Most people will get a uh, fashion chart and old leather along with gold. You will see, you will not see much of this. Uh, occasionally, probably a good lock charm and a fashion core. Rarely you will get the thousand gold, the one million gold. Whoa! No oh, hiccups. Oh. Anyways, uh, the chest, uh, one in one million chance. Just gonna point that out. Uh, one thing that I will say is, you could collect all the chests for all the five days and open them on the first, which still would still be, you know. You would get the leather, the old leather exchange, and I uh, believe it would be 25. So, but yeah, I think it would be total 25 if you do all the available ones that are uh, freeze that you can just do daily and without much of a problem. Uh, let me do the math one, two, three. Oh, if I do the recharge bonus, that's three. Uh, identification would be one. That would be four. Four times five, total of twenty. Uh, so that'd be like around twenty. Now these are not all the events, but they these are all the events that we're gonna get. So that's twenty. Uh, unless you do, you recharge. You don't recharge and don't do the alchemies. That will be 20 if you do all the recharge and alchemy included. 
would be a grand total of let's say 25 to 30 around 26 yeah 26 yep total 26 uh, chest which you could open and save them up uh, if you get old leather good for you you will be able to get any one you want uh, if you don't get enough old leather you will get only gold uh, Thanksgiving chest would be the only one available for that as we might get a grand total of 12 to 13 old leather out of all that so you know it's not the best thing to do at this moment in time is waste money this will be sold so don't my uh, personal advice don't waste money on this uh, these are will be probably be available in the future the Chinese servers do have these packs available every day for an ex probably an collectible exchangeable item which I guess you might have to buy but it would it's better than this I mean compared to all of this future events will be better uh, the only positive thing I do see about this would be just the clothing if you do get it uh, mech rhino is like the probably the best outcome of this event clothing you, you know you can just get more of it and it takes a lot of gold and money just to refine it anyways guys this is what I wanted to point out uh, I did start ranting mid well more than ranting started going completely out of track so, anyway, you guys, you guys already know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. Um, sorry for ranting. My mind was just all over the place. And you know, being sick does this to you. If you, well, being sick does a lot of things to you. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. And expect my third evolution Zeus video coming up. I will talk about it and possible names and the reason why I think it would fit. But anyways guys, thank you for watching and uh, I guess have a good day. So, see ya.